Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today I wanted to take the time to show you guys a little bit about shock oil. The difference in vigosity that you have. <clears throat> Sorry. Basically what you're seeing in front of you is the TLR, Team Lucy Racing shock oil. Now I, I am missing some here. Uh, basically you have from 17 and a half to even 60, 70, 80, 90, even 100. Those I don't have with me right now. But basically, the higher number you'll have is thicker the oil. If I like this, this is the Team Factory from uh, Team Associated. It's just extremely uh, harder liquids compared if you like this one right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The bubble inside is a little bit like water. Now, if you go with like the 50, it's the liquid has a hard time moving in the bottle. Now, let's say you would have a heavy vehicle. Let's take the uh, E-Revo, the 110. You wouldn't put the 17 and a half in those shocks. It won't perform correctly in the vehicle at all. The shock, basically, when it's uh, full of fluid, uh, shock and the spring work together. Let's say you don't have one of those two combinations together, you're not going to have a, a good shock. With oil plus the spring together, it will make to absorb the, uh, the, the bounciness of your shock. Again, the 17 and a half, like a 22 and a half, 27 and a half, and 30, the halves is basically a lot of people will use these for when they're racing their vehicles. They could go in between numbers and to be able to adjust it uh, like they really want. But let's say you're a 100% basher. You just like to bash your vehicle. You could go with uh, a 50, even a 40. Or if you want to go back stock, pretty much any Traxxas vehicles are 30. This is stock fluid for them. But you want to get a little bit more performance out of your vehicle and to be able to handle uh, the terrain you're uh, on, you could go with, let's say, a 40 or even a 50. Now, there's a lot of people sometimes come and seize me and says, like, I my vehicle, the back end's always on the ground. Um, should I change the spring or change the oil? Now, it's going to be a combination of both. I'm going to ask them, when was the last time the shocks were rebuilt on it? If they say never since I have the vehicle, it happens sometimes after a while, air will get into your shocks and create bubbles and your shock won't compress and decompress correctly by itself. A good refresh or the good shock rebuild, basically drain it, clean it, uh, and refill it of oil. We'll see a difference in performance. I do have a video how to rebuild shocks. If you want to go check that out. But half of the time, rebuilding your shocks and just making sure your fluid's fine will improve your vehicle. Or if you just want to be able to jump a little bit higher, be able to absorb the, sh the shocks, you could go up with a higher content of oil and changing your spring rate with it too. Now, these are associated. They're a little bit different. Uh, they work like this is a 150 CST. This is a 800 CST. They do work with a different little bit of numbers. Uh, now, a certain place here in Canada, we can't get these anymore. This is all stock that I have. Basically, the one that are easiest to get is these guys here. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumb down. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks.